Asian Americans have faced a dangerous climate since the start of the pandemic. More than 3,800 cases of anti-Asian incidents were reported in the U.S. this past year. You know, because if you don't step up, the people being attacked can be killed. The Jacksonville Chinese Association is holding a rally in Riverside this afternoon to stop Asian hate. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live after speaking with the organizers. And Brittany, the rally starts around 4 o'clock today. Jen Zach, good morning. It does. The Jacksonville Chinese Association says now is the time to stand up, speak out, and take action to protect those who are vulnerable. When Wen Reiti leaves her cafe, House of Leaf and Bean on Beach Boulevard. Obviously, I hear fear behind my back. You know, maybe somebody here come up to me, uh, attack me. Reiti is a healer as she helps those who come to her cafe with health, digestive, and blood pressure issues. She's also the president of National Asian American PAC Florida. When everything going on, all of our community members feel the pain and they feel the uh, you know, uh, discrimination. We're still trying to do the right things. She feels victimized for looking a certain way. We all are suffering in this pandemic. So we need to show our sympathy, empathy, and love to each other. That's why Ray T is hoping the community joins her and the organizer, Jacksonville Chinese Association Vice President Wei Zhou, at a rally to stop Asian hate. We are taking actions. You know, we're no longer suffering in, in silence. So especially after Atlanta shooting. While we've seen a rise in Asian hate crime since the pandemic, Joe says there's been a long history of underlying racism against Asians in this country. In the past, we were only attacked or assaulted. By this time, we're risking our lives. After the rally, JCA says it will be holding a memorial service to honor and remember the eight victims who died last month in the Atlanta shooting. Six were Asian women. The rally is being held in Memorial Park in Riverside from 4 to 6 p.m. in support with 14 local organizations. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker will be there and she'll have updates throughout the afternoon. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The local station.